Hey all welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren and today I'm going to cook something that I've never done sous vide before. Uh, my wife bought this the other day at the store. They were on sale. She got me a, a little young turkey breast here. So we've had this for a couple weeks now in the freezer. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and cook this up and try it out sous vide. You guys can follow along with me. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the pack, wash it up, and then we're going to uh, show you how we're going to uh, season it up and put it in the backpack. I got the water heating up right now. Uh, we're going to cook it today for about four hours at 147. And then we're going to throw it on the grill and get it some uh, crisp up the skin and get some smoke to it. So, all right, guys, I've got it taken out of the pack and we'll washed it up some. And um, so we are going to go ahead and season this up. And what I'm going to use today is this uh, poultry seasoning. Um, just a basic poultry seasoning you can buy at the store. Uh, this one is a Badia. Badia and it's, uh, it's got a little bit of everything that you like in poultry seasoning. So onion, garlic, paprika. It's got a little bit of uh, cumin, some other spices in there. But um, you can pretty much use any kind of poultry seasoning you want. But I'm going to use this one because... Uh, Kind of like the way it uh, flavors turkey. Um, pretty just just want to coat your skin pretty good. I'm not going to use any butter or any kind of oil, anything. I'm just using the water that we uh, rinse this off with. Um, make sure if you're using doing a breast, you know where you got where they remove the wings. Just kind of make sure you get some of the rub inside the cavity. We're going to season this up after we take it out of the bath, too, but you just want to make sure you season pretty much every square inch of this as you can. Because you want that seasoning to uh, permeate every part of the meat. You get some in the cavity there. Make sure you rub some of this in. That's about it. Grab some off of the pan. Put some more on. Yeah, looks like my uh, timer's going off for the sous vide bath. I'm going to go ahead and get this in one of my uh, expandable bags here. I'm using the expandable uh, vacuum cleaner sealer bag. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in the bag and we'll all be right, right back. I got it all vacuumed up in my expandable vacuum sealer bag and I double sealed it on both sides. So um, you know, since this is a turkey breast, it does have that, you know, cavity, you know, semi-cavity here in the middle here. So we've got to make sure that we cook this thing all the way through. So that's why we're going to do four hours at 147. Normally I'd cook uh, like a chicken breast or, you know, or chicken, uh, spatchcock chicken at like 145. But I'm going to add a few degrees just uh, to make up for this um, cavity that we have in this one. Make sure that the... Uh, that it gets cooked all the way through due to that cavity. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it in and we'll see you guys in about four hours. I just took it out of the uh, sous vide bath and um, did pat it down dry a little bit. And I'm decided I'm not going to cook this on the uh, charcoal grill today because it's looking like it's going to be a storm outside. And I've got a convection oven in here, so I'm cranked up my convection oven to 475. So that's what we're going to finish it off in today. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of more of my chicken rub, um, put it on here, and then we're going to throw it in, and then. Uh, probably be in there for a good 45 minutes and then we'll uh, take it out and see how it turned out so I'll be right back after I throw some more rub on there and throw this here in it there. is after being in the uh, convection oven about 45 minutes at 475 you can tell that skin is nice and dark now it's nice and juicy mm -mm -mm. kind of looks like the chicken I cooked the other day 
I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece off just so you can see how juicy this is. And it's done. There's no pink. Ooh, i got to get that piece of skin. So let's go pretend it's uh, Thanksgiving here today. I'm going to go ahead and take a bite. Mm. It's literally dripping all over the place. It's so juicy. And you know, turkey breast is really hard to uh, cook so you can dry it out. But I think I figured out how I'm going to cook my turkey this year for Thanksgiving. I'm going to go ahead and sous vide it because that is the juiciest turkey breast I've ever had. Alright guys, well thanks for uh, watching this video. Um, make sure you subscribe and like this video. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on our Facebook group and page. And follow us on Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting this up so we can have dinner. But this is absolutely delicious. Try it if you've never tried to sous vide turkey breast before. you got to try it. I'm sure it would come out just as well on the grill. I just didn't have time to do that tonight because of the storm out there. So, Thanks for following us, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you, guys.